Fast radio bursts are short duration, millisecond duration radio flashes that we've been seeing from space for the last 10 years or so. They're a huge mystery, one of the biggest mysteries in astrophysics right now, what is producing these short uh, duration radio flashes. But we think that they're coming from very deep in, in outer space. Recently we've uh, we found a, a fast radio burst using the largest radio telescope on Earth using the Arecibo telescope in Puerto Rico and the big advantage here is that with a much bigger telescope we can see much weaker signals and in fact this has allowed us to not only find uh, a fast radio burst with Arecibo but to notice that this fast radio burst actually produces not just a single flash of radio light but multiple flashes of radio light and what's really great about this is it gives us a huge practical advantage we can come back to the source now and we can try and pinpoint its location on the sky and and then try and figure out essentially what, which galaxy it's coming from. To find uh, the accurate sky uh, position of these fast radio bursts, you need more uh, radio telescopes working together. And the approximate uh, sky position of this uh, FRB was found uh, by the very large uh, array in the USA. To get a 10 times more accurate position, we use telescopes uh, that uh, are spread across the globe, separated by thousands of kilometers. And this is called uh, the European VLBI network. Thanks to the accurate sky localization of the VLA and the EVN, we used a large optical telescope, the Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii, to get optical images and spectra of the host galaxy of the FRB. And we found that it's uh, a galaxy about 3 billion light years away, and it's a dwarf galaxy, so about a thousandth the mass of, the, of our own galaxy. Using the VLA and the EVN, we've been able to, to make the major breakthrough of localizing the position of these bursts on the sky. And using Gemini, we've been able to figure out what galaxy they're coming from and to characterize the properties of the galaxy. Now, to really understand what's producing the bursts, we're going back to the Arecibo telescope and we're studying the bursts in detail, the properties in both time and frequency to understand what kind of physics is responsible for producing these bursts. That will be the next breakthrough. <laughs>